There's just something about hitting that backslash key and going between before and after. I could just do it forever. So satisfying. What is up people, Dunna here, and today I'm gonna show you how I turn this photo into this all in Adobe Lightroom. If you wanna see how I took this photo, check out the video I released earlier this week all about sparking inspiration when you're just not feeling it. At any point during the video, if you have questions about something that I'm doing or you think you have a great idea, drop a comment below and on your way down, hit that like button. Okay, let's edit this photo. So with this photo, we have a couple of interesting things to consider. We have a very dynamic scene with super bright lights and a very dark sky. We've also got lots of lines and shapes going on, so I'd really like to bring out lots of that detail and emphasize it as much as possible. First, we're gonna go to the Lens Corrections and click Enable Profile Corrections. It automatically chooses the lens that I use and does a great job fixing distortion and vignetting from this lens. Chromatic aberration doesn't seem to be a big deal, so we'll move on from here. Next, we'll crop and straighten the image, pulling the crop in slightly and straightening the horizon. Moving down to the basic tab, I'm gonna fix my color temperature. This is a weird one because we've got a few different colored light sources that we need to deal with, so I'm gonna try and get that snow looking pretty good. Next, I'm gonna adjust the exposure to bring up some of that super dark stuff and increase the contrast a bit. Now let's go crazy a little bit and pull the highlights all the way down and the shadows all the way up, getting us back as much information as possible. Push the whites up a bit and the blacks down a bit, giving it a bit more contrast for those extremes. For a photo like this where I want those real small details to pop, I'm gonna crank up the clarity and push the dehaze a bit to get rid of some of that slight hazy look. Now we're gonna desaturate it a bit and bring the vibrance back to balance it out. Next, we're onto the calibration tab where I like to bring down the blue primary, making the blues a bit more teal, and then bring the red primary up to counteract the fact that the reds are getting a little too pink. This gives us a nice orange glow in our buildings as well. Up to the tone curve, we're gonna pull up the blacks just a bit, and then we're gonna add a bit of contrast. We're starting to see some stars now in the sky, which is kind of cool too. At this point, our lighting looks pretty good, but I'd like to fix some of the color in the photo. So opening up the HSL panel, I'm gonna start with the saturation tab and pull out anything that I don't want all the way. It may seem extreme as you see it happen in real time, but if you weren't seeing the transformation, you wouldn't even notice. Let's increase the blue a bit, maybe a little less aqua, get some more orange in there to get the buildings, and a little bit less red. Over in the luminance tab, I'm gonna raise the blues up a bit to make them a bit more visible in the sky. Now to the hue tab. Let's make those reds a bit more orange in the buildings. And I'm going to separate the aqua and blue a bit by pulling them either way. Now we have a nice deep blue in the sky with a bit of aqua where the sky is the brightest. Because of some of the more extreme editing I've done so far, we've brought out some of the noise in this photo. And so we're gonna head down to the detail section and we're gonna turn up the noise reduction. Then we're gonna bring in a decent amount of sharpening and use the option key to turn masking up until it shows only the parts that we want more detail in. Might've gone a little bit overboard on the noise reduction there, so let's bring that down a bit. Now let's head up to the split toning to balance things out a bit. We're gonna add a little bit of blue into our mostly orange highlights and some orange into our mostly blue shadows. This also kind of warms up the picture a little bit. And down in the effects section, we're gonna add a touch of vignetting to bring the eye towards the center. And then because it just feels so wonderful, we're gonna check that before and after a few times. Mm. So in just a few minutes, we went from this to this. Huge difference, right? If you wanna see more of my photos, make sure to follow me over on Instagram. If you had fun or you learned something, remember to like the video and while you're down in that area, subscribe to the channel for more content like this. I'll see you next time.